guys, it is Melissa and welcome back to my channel, Carolina Mountain Soap Company, where we make soap. So before we get started making soap today, I am going to let you know what is going on sale starting tomorrow. So we have our Love and Friendship collection, which is made of four soaps, and I'm going to show this to you now. The first one is Cat and Moon. Um, this soap smells really nice, kind of like a rainy afternoon type scent um it the gray is activated charcoal the cat is activated charcoal this will go on sale tomorrow for six dollars on my website the link will be down below the second one is coming up roses this bright pink and red and purple soap um smells like nothing else what roses right so it is pretty it has glitter on top see glitter shine glitter shine glitter shine um, and again, this soap will go on sale tomorrow and it also will be $6. The next one we have is Girl Camo. Girl Camo will be going on sale for $6. Um, it is a pink and purple camo soap. Just like you see here, with some glitter on top, glitter on top. And the final one is, um, this soap has gone through many names only because the scent retention uh, it's supposed to be sweet strawberries. It is a sweetheart soap. It is very lightly scented. Introducing sweetheart soap. This soap will again also be six fifty. This one will be six fifty. It's a little bit more soap. I did not because of the extra hearts that we have here. It's a little bit more um, materials involved. So for six fifty again, I will post a link down below in the uh in the description box so you guys start purchasing the soaps tomorrow for love and friendship um th thank you all those who are subscribed to my channel and we are going to now make home so um home is a soap that is near and dear to my heart it is a new technique for me called the butterfly swirl and we'll show you at the end what that looks like Hey guys, it is Melissa and today we are making one of my favorite soaps. It is home. Um, this soap is a citrusy scent. Um, I grew up in Florida, so it has um, blue and orange in it. And yes, I am a UF fan. Please do not let that be reason not to buy my soap. So um, we are soaping a little bit warmer today. We are gonna do a butterfly swirl. I still have not mastered this technique yet, but we'll see if it comes out um, today. We are soaping at a little bit of warmer temperature today, about 91, 92 degrees, um, which is completely fine for this design. I don't need a very swirly design because I'm gonna use the hanger tool from Brambleberry to make my design. So the scents and colors that we are using today are, this is Racing Stripe Orange from Brambleberry. Um, they need to really do something about their labels, but that's what, that is, that's my opinion. Uh, Brilliant Blue from Nurture Soap. Very beautiful blue. And to the Mystic Holographic Glitter from Mad Micas. And Seventh Heaven from Nurture Soap. This is my absolute favorite fragrance of all time. I have over here uh, mixed in this bowl, I have some kaolin clay mixed with my fragrance, and this helps the fragrance stick a little bit longer through the soap. This is what I found out over the past um, year or so of making soap. But this, this scent lasts pretty good anyway. And uh, titanium dioxide mixed with water. That's all that's going to be in this soap. So uh, sit back and enjoy while I mix my light water with my um, oils here and it's the standard oils um, the rest of the oils that are oils and butters that I use are down there in the description and as always I would have the um, ingredients of what I've used in the in the uh, sites links links to websites in the description as well so I hope you enjoy
right guys there you have it there you have home we will come back tomorrow evening when i get home from work and we'll show you the cut so this is my um soap i called home i did grow up in florida and this is my favorite scent with my favorite colors and my favorite soap so uh tomorrow we will give this a cut and uh show you what the inside looks like so we'll see you tomorrow all right guys so it is the next day and i'm here to cut home and uh get that cut for you and see how it, this butterfly swirl turned out if it did so we'll see it's really still soft but it's been more than 24 hours more like about 28 hours still tend to go really slow. Mm. Pretty. I'll show you what in a minute what I mean by a butterfly swirl to see if it comes out. So we'll cut another one. We'll line it up. Okay, so what's supposed to happen on a butterfly swirl soup? When you put them together, it should look like a butterfly, which it kind of does, and I'm very impressed. So you might see a little green in here. That's just a blue and orange. Um, they will turn into um, the blue color. So there it is, guys. That's pretty cool. I think this is my first time uh, doing this. So yeah, that's cool. And it smells absolutely divine. Again, it's my favorite set my favorite scent with my favorite colors with some glitter and a pretty cool design so um we'll see you at the end of the video thanks for watching hey guys i hope that you've enjoyed that and here's home this is what it looks like um it's not exactly quite a butterfly this is um the side let me switch it over and whoops backwards um we have that it kind of looks more like a butterfly so when you put the two pieces together it makes a butterfly-ish shape um these are my favorite colors orange and blue and this is my favorite scent it is bergamot and citrus it smells really nice this set will go on sale in march so stay tuned for that so join us next week when when we make pineapple cilantro yep that's it pineapple cilantro so stay tuned for next week i want to thank all the subscribers that i have um keep telling your friends please enjoy um i hope you enjoy give us a like and a sub down below hit that like button hit that sub button because that's the only way that the word's going to get out that we're making so anyway i hope you all have a nice day god bless